Weebly online site tutorial. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create your online e-commerce store using Weebly for free. So let's get into it. Now, first off, you're just going to click on sign up over here. And then after that, you're going to enter some of your personal details. I already have an account, so I am just going to click on sign in. But all you have to do is add your email and first name. I am going to log in over here. Now, after you have created your account, Weebly is going to ask you what kind of website are you looking to create. So if you need a website with the online store or just a basic website. So we are creating a online store over here. And the best part about Weebly is that it provides the functionalities that are available on Wix for free. So first off, you're going to select your name, what kind of name you want for your website. And you can change this later, but let's just say we do a luxury fashion. We're going to click on continue and then you are going to add if you are currently selling any items or if you are just trying out Weebly. So what type of items are you going to be selling online? You're going to add that as well. So let's add some jewelry and accessories and clothing. You're going to continue and then you can add your store address as well if you have a physical store, but we are going to skip that. And now Weebly is going to begin developing your website. Now you can see over here that this is going to be your basic dashboard once you have created your account and your website on Weebly. So it's going to provide you with a Weebly domain and to start designing your actual website, you're going to click on design now over here. And now over here, you can see Weebly has provided us with a nice basic template. You can obviously change things as you go, but you can see that the basic templates provided by Weebly are pretty good. But I'm going to show you guys how you're going to customize your website. So you're going to click on website over here in your basic dashboard and you're going to click on edit site on the left side on your website you can see your basic pages so i have a home page i have two shop all pages and i don't want to shop all pages obviously so what you're going to do is first off you need to get started by selecting the basic features that you require on your website so first off it might include your instagram feed if you have it your items for pickups your items to ship your top retail items and then your email address box so i would suggest that you do add an email address box you're Going to click on next then you're going to add a logo so if you already have a logo you can add that i don't have one so i'm going to skip and then you're going to select the style you want for your website so i want a classic style and i want it in this maroon kind of shade and i'm going to click on finish now once i've clicked on finish you can see you get onto your setup domain page so you can find a custom domain or you can use a weebly subdomain which is available for free i'm going to select that and then you're going to view your pages. So on the top, you can see you have all of your basic pages. So your home page, and then you have your category pages. What I like to do is I like to delete any previous pages other than the home page. So what I like to do is I like to delete any extra pages first. And then I like to start designing my home page first off and then start adding product pages. So first off, you're going to design your basic page. And then you can see on the top, you have your header. You're going to change your logo. I don't have one. I'm going to keep the text. But after that, you have your main banner. And on your main banner, you're going to display a basic image for your website. So you can use free photos that are available on Weebly as well. So you can search for anything you want and then you add a basic image for your product representation. After that, you're going to click on done once you're finished with your design, depending on how you want to design it. Below that, I have a featured item section and obviously you can remove these sections by clicking on these three dots. You can move them down, you can move them to another page or you can delete the sections all together if you don't want this kind of section on your home page. But after you have decided on how you want your homepage to look like, you're going to click on add over here at the top left and you're going to click on add page. You're going to add your shop. It's a shop all page. So this is going to be your shop all page where you're going to list all of your items. So on your shop all page, what you're going to do is you have your basic header, then you have a category and browsing option. So for your item list if you go on to the item list here on the left now you can create your first item just by clicking over here you can add what kind of item this is you can add your title and then you can add the item price you can add a basic description images so you can add 
your basic product image. I don't have any images right now, so I'm just going to save this like so. But you're just going to add your different items. So I created this first item and obviously you're going to add the actual images and uh, details of your item. Once you have done that, you just click on done and then you can see your basic footer. I would suggest you remove this kind of footer. I usually don't like it at the end of my shop now sections, but I like to remove any kind of excess on the shop now section because it deviates people from the actual shopping experience now below your footer you can see your footer branding as well this is going to be there if you don't upgrade your weebly plan so if you don't want this weebly e-commerce by squarespace then you're going to have to update on to a premium version of weebly now, once you have added all of your products and designed your website adequately, all you need to do is click on publish at the top right over here. You're going to set up your domain. So let's just work with the Lux Fashion domain over here. We're going to use the free domain. And then our site is published. If you click over here, you have your site ready to be functional and you can start selling your items on your website. So you can see over here, it looks very professional and good. And if you click on shop all, we have our singular item. And now once you have published your site, you're going to go back into your actual dashboard. And that is where you manage your e-commerce site. So this is just the basic website. So this is your website and this is how it's going to appear. The business work you're going to do on your Weebly dashboard and on your Weebly dashboard, you can click on items over here and then you can click on site items and view all of the items that you have uploaded. Now you can see over here, this is the singular item that we added and you can directly add new items over here and they're going to appear on your website. So if I click on create new item directly from here, I can title it 000. I'm going to price it at $1 and I'm just going to save this. And now this item has already been added to my Weebly website. So you can see over here, this item has been added. So I don't need to really open my site manager to do that. It's the same with adding coupons, gift cards, and then after that, on your dashboard, you have your order section where you're going to be able to monitor all of your received orders. Then you have your fulfillment. So if orders have been picked up and delivered and shipped, you have your reports and analytics, and then you have your site traffic, site activity within your reports. You also have your marketing, communications, and basic settings on your basic Weebly dashboard. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video and make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well and to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites. So I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.